diddly 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 Hayden's away this week, so we're doing a bit of an emergency recording. It was going to be an emergency broadcast, but no, 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 it's not happening, it's not a thing. Oh, in fact, let me turn off my... My extra fans for broadcast. There we go for the audio quality. So, um, terrorism is a super duper, duper serious thing in this country. Uh, so I've just been looking at the prevent, uh, the prevent text. Check this out. So all terrorist groups need to radicalize and recruit people to their cause. How, where, and to what extent they try to do so will vary. Some groups are avowedly elitist and do not seek to expand their membership beyond a small number of people. Others aspire to be a mass movement and to transition from being terrorists to insurgents with the aim of using armed conflict to overthrow recognised governments. And then there's a few examples and all the rest of it. It's not important, but yeah, this is a serious, serious thing. I hate terrorism. You hate terrorism. Trigger warning hates terrorism. So we're going to do something about it today. Or we're going to we're going to do the official government training that they've just released. Uh, and we've on the we're on the welcome page here now. I'm really really hoping it's not going to ask me for any personal information, but we're going to find out. I've got my headphones on because as soon as I put it on, there was audio. So we're going to have to see about that. In fact, I'll just unmute the page now because it was bugging me before so let's let's do this let's all together as one become not terrorists together <laughs> i can't wait i can't wait to be a not so a terrorist we know how to pitch this session how would you currently rate your knowledge and understanding of radicalization oh I've, I've lost a fair few friends to radicalization um oh that's an interesting one let's say fair let's go middle I am, a, I am a dirty centrist. One more question. How do you rate your understanding of how Prevent fits into your day-to-day -day role? I have... Very poor? Poor. Very poor. Very poor. Good. Very good. I know nothing about Prevent. Thank you. We will assess that again at the end of this session. Wonderful. Please continue to proceed. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me. We're going to stop this it This training guys. uses video throughout, including for presenting case studies. To check you can watch these videos, please click the play button to listen to some colleagues give their thoughts on Prevent. Okay. If the video does not play, you may have a block on streaming video through your browser or firewall. I think I'm Please all right. refer to the frequently asked questions icon oh God, on the please be a skip. menu bottom right to troubleshoot how to fix this. Guys, if you want to do this, by the way, I didn't mention at the top, you go on homeoffice.gov.uk or just search Prevent Strategy Training. It is openly available for anyone to do. We can all get together and prevent terrorism together. <laughs> Whoa, no! <laughs> right? Oh, wonderful. Let's try again. Let's try <laughs> That says everything, doesn't it? It says everything. That tells you everything that you need to, you need to know. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, let's just, we'll, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and continue, eh? Um, we want this e-learning package to be useful to you and relatable to your work. To help with that, be honest and select which answer below best represents your reason for taking part in this session. Um, I've been told to do oh, it. Oh, for God's sake. It's part of my professional duty. I'm currently concerned about radicalisation in relation to a student or colleague. I don't see how Prevent relates to me, so want to understand that better. Oh, well... I could honestly click any of those three options. Seriously, I could click any of the three of them. Um. But I'm going to see, because to, to, to be 100% honest, I don't see, because I, I know I've got, uh, I've got not necessarily relations, but definitely uh, colleagues, maybe, maybe you might call them, I don't know. People I know who are definitely being radicalised. Uh, I've seen friends of mine who have been advocating for violence against people based on items of clothing. You know, that's radicalisation, isn't it? Um, or just for their opinions and political perspectives. The second you're advocating that kind of violence. In terms of, I've not been told to do it. Nobody tells me to do anything in that respect. But... I would consider it part of my duty, so I would like to click that one. But I don't like this fella. There's something about him. So I'm going to say I don't see how 
prevent relates to me because that is the honest truth i've read it and i don't really see um this is a common request that's why this package is tailored to the education sector so that content is up to date and relatable to you <sighs> the overriding objective of prevent is to safeguard vulnerable people from being radicalized Wonderful. to commit terrorist related violence before any such crime is committed and often it's hard to see how we as individuals can make a difference in this space. That's why I'm here. However, radicalisation is comparable to other forms of exploitation. It's therefore a safeguarding issue relevant to staff working across the public sector who are well placed to identify individuals who may be groomed into criminal activity. Safeguarding against that risk can draw on the same principles as other initiatives designed to protect vulnerable people from harm, such as physical abuse. As in those situations, you need to feel confident that you can recognise the signs of someone being exploited to radicalisation, understand the network of support available to that person and share concerns in the correct okay, manner. OK, OK, I get it, I get it. This package will provide an excellent introduction as to how best to do all three and for many will meet the basic prevent duty training requirements. Click continue to proceed. Let's do this, or man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh. Radicalization is the name given to the process that moves a person to legitimize their support or use of violence. It's where terrorism begins and where the work we do today will be focused on. But what does it look like? Ooh. Look at the six images below and click to select two that resonate with you or you feel you have an emotional reaction to. Oh my God. Um, do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna need, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a beer for this. <laughs> it's getting hard already. <laughs> Oof. Right, let's have a look. Sorry about that. But, oh, you saw me trampy, trampy home pants with uh, Zelda's yogurt all over it. That wasn't an innuendo, by the way. It's just yogurt. Um, right. So the two... Select two that you f that resonate with you or feel you have an emotional reaction to. Um, well, that's some dude talking to some kids. That's a people going on holiday. Uh, some guys taking the piss. But that's, that's, that's got to be one, hasn't it? I don't get this one about school. Hey, Look at that, though. Um, go on, that, that obviously is It can me. be shocking, it can be shocking and upsetting to see public displays of hate and division. Radicalization can draw on all forms of extremism, including the threat from the far right. As a result, this racially antagonistic graffiti might represent the actions of someone who has taken on board their ideology. Okay. Certainly, taking the step to break the law and make a public display of their feelings suggests that the person who did this was on the path to radicalization. But to really, it can be shocking and upsetting to see public displays of hate and division. Radicalization can draw on all forms of extremism, including the threat from the far right. As a result, this racially antagonistic graffiti might represent the actions of someone who has taken on board. He's just reading the same thing again. Oh my God. And these people are looking after us. Oh, here we go. We're going to learn something. I think for me, the, the first thing that I would always say to a, a teacher is that, you know, th there's nothing to be scared of. This is about safeguarding. You've been doing safeguarding for a very long time. It's exactly the same rules that apply. Okay. If you have a concern about a young person, you will go through young the people. same motions as you would for any safeguarding issue. If you've got nerves and you're about engaging with this agenda and you're concerned about what it might mean... I am concerned. I would suggest that uh, you go back to the very basic safeguarding uh, legislation. Yes. Look again at the responsibilities to our children and young people and our vulnerable adults to keep them safe from harm. Um, really think about where that sits in your own role. Oh, my God. Give me a second, guys. Bloody hell. Sorry, one second. One
and then think about your responsibilities and your duties and how you need to implement that. There we go. Um, when we started talking about equality and diversity 25 years ago, we talked Ooh. about this golden thread that needed to run through everything that we did. Um, and prevent and safeguarding is very much the same. It is very much part of the daily work that teachers do. They are there, they know their young people, they know when something is of concern. Um, and they need to feel confident and they need to trust their own instincts that they will do the right thing. Prevent is... Is there, is there going to be any men talking at any point? I don't feel very represented. The education sector. Um, prevent is looking at uh, students that are finding themselves in situations that possibly they can't get themselves out of and it's actually trying to keep them out of the criminal space. At the point that they are working with Prevent, the young, the, the, the young person is being safeguarded. They're, they're, they're not being criminalised. Okay. There are no records being kept. They don't enter the criminal justice system. It's, all, it's about the individual, looking at that individual and the challenges that they face and making sure that we have the correct policies, procedures and protocols to signpost them to the people that can help them. It's about proportionality, it's about keeping things in the right, uh, at the right level, right service, right child at the right time. Well, all of that was a bit vague. We'll now start to make this more relevant to you. Yeah, please. Think about who please. you have most contact time with in your particular educational setting, be that pupils, students or colleagues. Now think about a time when one of them recently confided in you or asked you for help or when you have been concerned about them what did they do or oh say my that perhaps God. made you worry about their welfare do you, do you know what can we just mute this can we just mute that can we put subtitles on or something jeez what's that what's that no oh oh god no what's this no 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 i don't want the accessibility nonsense let's just can we just turn that off we'll right. now start to make this no, more relevant no i turned to you. That... think about who you have most We'll now start to make this more relevant to you. God, these people Think about who you have most contact time with in your particular they can't even... in mind. We're now going to concentrate on changes in behaviour in someone. Oh my god. Oh my god. You Don't can't even put together those behaviors. Just take a look at the words in the exercise and think about which ones you'd expect to notice or may have noticed in the past. Right. Click on the three which you think are this most is likely. So awful. Um I don't want you to read to me like I'm some sort of fucking idiot. This, oh my God. Right, am I just going to have to press pause every time then? Or, no, that's going to take me out of the thing, isn't it? What's that do? It doesn't even tell me. Privacy policy, frequently asked questions, accessibility, and subtitles. We'll now start to make this more relevant oh to you. Oh my God. Keep that in mind. No, We're now going to concentrate on changes in behaviour in someone that might give you concern. Awful. Don't worry about what might be driving those behaviors. Right. What might Just take a cause look at the words in then. the exercise and think about Shut which up. ones you'd expect to notice or may have noticed in the past. Right. Click on the three which you think are most likely. Right. Keep in mind that you're now going to concentrate on changes behavior that might give you concern. Is this in relationship to just general concern or extremism, becoming radicalized? Uh well, speaking about carrying out a violent act is certainly one. Um, signs of stress, uh, decline in appearance. Jesus Christ! I mean, that's uh, asking inappropriate. What the fuck is an inappropriate question? What? Well, how do you define that? Oh, I'm not going to do well at this. I need. To, I need to have a conversation about this stuff. Um, well, let's say isolation, shall we? Because that is definitely a worrying sign in terms of... Um, that's just gone to a question mark now, hasn't it? Right. Yes. Speaking. So let's leave that there. And then uh, isolation. Isolate. All right. Phew, fuck for that. Um... What do we do? Unhealthy use of the internet. By very definition, if it's unhealthy... The circumstances behind these behaviours may not be related to a safeguarding issue. Okay. And taken on their own, they may not be a cause for concern. 
The way we establish that is to get a broader view and be informed about their context. Let's look in more detail at the three changes in behaviour you selected. Okay. Oh, right, we're going to continue, are we? This what is... do you think is most likely to be driving those changes in behaviour? Below are 12 potential reasons that have been put forward by frontline professionals that have engaged in prevent training. I don't know. Click on the ones that know. have also come to your attention right. in your professional experience. Jesus Christ. When you've selected one or more... Let's kill this bullshit. All right, I'm just going to read it. I'm just going to fucking read it and mute that because this is awful. I can't be doing with it. Uh, what do you think is most likely in driving those changes of behaviour individuals you thought before? Below are 12 potential reasons that have been put forward by frontline professionals that have engaged in prevent training. So what causes these behaviours? Um, oh, click on the ones that have come to your attention. Right, there we go, attention. That's something... Well, <laughs> radicalization, dickhead. That's why I'm here. Um, sexual abuse, hundred um, percent. Stigma and discrimination. No, I've not seen anything in terms of that nonsense. Um, well, obviously, group and gang mention uh, membership, adolescence. Of course, everyone becomes a dick, and all, all of them. I don't understand. The, the low self-esteem. Yeah, of course. Drugs and alcohol. Yep. Yeah. Loss, bullying, family upheaval, every single one of them. Oh, I've had a I've had a panic for radicalization. And that was the first one I clicked. <laughs> that could mean you have had experience of it occurring to any of those you have most contact time with your particular education. Why does it keep saying educational setting? Did I click education? I don't remember doing that. Compared to drivers, uh, like bullying, blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, and speaking out. Um, so let's understand a little bit more about the process. Well, yes, that's why I'm here. Why the fuck are you holding my hand just to get me here? I clicked that I'm here because I want to do it. Why have you spent fucking 20 minutes Tiptoeing my ass here. I want to look, you fucking idiots. Right. The process of radicalization feeds on emotions. Yes. Uh, so the underlying reasons why someone gets involved and stays involved in the process are familiar to all of us, of course. Uh, although I would argue that most people aren't. Um, don't look at it objectively enough. Where's it gone? <laughs> Where's it gone? I wasn't finished. Turn the audio off and it's fucking... All right, all right. Here is lost. Here below is a lost list of common phrases from people once at risk from radicalization. Um, despite the very different motivations. Are any of those quotes similar? It felt exciting, of course. Um, you feel longing. You feel you have violence. The, the, at the point where you justify violence, it is exciting. Of course it is. Made me feel part of something. Yes, of course. Everyone wants to have a tribe, um, be it your family, your friends, or whoever. Uh, it made me feel special. Yes. Look at Antifa. They're fucking... <laughs> They're the most special, entitled people on the planet, aren't they? Obviously. Mm. They understood me like no one else had done before. Ooh, that's a tricky, dangerous one, wasn't it? I felt I was with like-minded people. Yes, that's the whole point. That's the danger. Stop hanging about with people who only think like you do. That's the problem. That's the fucking problem. That's the the main crux of it. Um, and it always and it always has been. It, 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 way before the internet. Way before everything. Um, the internet just gives gives it uh, bubbles, these sort of stone walls that people can't escape. Uh, I felt like my life had purpose, of course. I felt like an adult for the first time. You've hit on a major one there. People are tret like children, even when they are adults. So I'm not surprised that having finally having some sort of goal in life 
Um, I felt better about myself. It gave me confidence. I loved that it was ours, that others were outside of it. Jesus Christ. Well, yes, 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 yes. Uh, the, who the fuck is this beard dude here? What's this? Is that just, is, is that just marks hanging around? <laughs> right, there's a video coming up. Oh. So I'll bring that up. One of the again. unique features of such extremist groups is that they can speak directly to vulnerabilities people may experience at certain times in their lives. Yes. This often involves members of such groups actively seeking to recruit individuals in person, either face to face or online. A video will explain this in more detail. Yeah. Coming towards us, this may begin so many people prepared to act in extreme ways. Um yeah 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 it's, uh, it, the thing is as well it's directly to vulnerabilities of people but it's perceived vulnerabilities as well that's the other thing it's it's about defending others that's that's a big that's that's a a, a glorious little seed that gets planted let's have a look anyway So radicalisation is a, is, a, is a process in which someone gets to the point uh, where they're willing to commit violence on behalf of a particular group, cause or, or ideas, set of ideas. Students particularly may find themselves talking to people online, being a... Did I click teacher? Did I click teacher? Why am I getting all this bullshit? I mean, I used to be a teacher, but I can't imagine going back to it any time very soon. ...associated with groups, <laughs> clubs, societies, and they might get be getting themselves into um, activities that could lead to criminal activities. Um, and that radicalisation process takes place when individuals who are vulnerable for so many different reasons um, end up being befriended by individuals, by groups, who actually manipulate that vulnerability. And so the recruiter may pop along and say, you know what, actually I see something in you that you know, we really need and we need individuals like you to help to lead and to you know, really take a stand on these causes. Um, it's that arm around their shoulder. It's about giving them the support that they so clearly need at the right time. Yeah, the radicalizers are, are normally very successful because they provide that emotional support that a person sometimes misses in life. So anybody like teachers, parents, friends, can also have a counteracting pull by having the same kind of regard for the person's emotion. Yeah, well, you know what? My first thoughts on this is maybe stop telling fucking young boys that it's toxic masculinity. If you keep telling them that they're toxic, then of course the people that are radicalising them, uh, they're, 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 oh, come over here. Well, no, we're all, we think you're a good person. We admire you. We, like, they, stop. And, and and don't even get me started on the nonsense like patriarchy. If you want to talk about representation of words and, oh, well, words have power and all that. How about naming everything bad after men? How about calling it patriarchy? How do you think that fucking feels? When you, you know, like when you, oh, Jesus Christ. I hate this stuff. I hate this stuff. Because, because they're almost there. They're almost there. But... They're so blinded by this ridiculous lens of pseudoscience that they don't, you know, it's it's like, oh, well, you, you, well so what, we, we're going to keep telling boys they're toxic, we're going to keep telling them that any masculine traits are bad, and then as a result of that, it, it, it's easy for them to be radicalised, and I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about people on the left, right, and everything. Because self-hating lefties, self-hating white feminists as well, they're just as easy to radicalise. Because you know what? You're shit. You're all just fucking scum. You're part of the problem. And then what happens? Antifa comes in and goes, but you know what? You can fix that problem, can't you? Um, this, this better get onto this shit. Emotional needs. It's really diverse in terms of how long it may take for people. So some people it may be years. Whereas for some individuals... It can be very, very short, so literally the matter of a few months. Initially, to the person who is being recruited, he or she may not have an us and them attitude. But as we know, um, what the recruiters then go on to do is to plant seeds which actually are about them going on to take that more extreme and radical course of action. 
Punch Nazis. That's a seed for you, isn't it? It's a glorious one, that, isn't it? Punch Nazis. And that's, that's my favourite seed at the moment. These fucking cunts going around with... Punch Nazis, punch Nazis, make racists afraid again. Um, make fascists afraid again and all that shit. That's, the, that's a beautiful little seed to plant, isn't it? Because once you're convinced that punching Nazis is okay, then you'll punch anyone who you're told is a Nazi. And that's what exactly what happens in the heat of the moment, isn't it? Um, and it's the same with the fucking Muslims in terms of the right-wing groups, isn't it? Of course it is. They just, like... All they get told, all they get told about is like Sharia law. It's it's all about defending women. That's what they appeal to on that side, isn't it? It's the fact that women are getting raped, which they are. It's the fact that women are being abused, which they are. It's about the FGM, which is happening in this country in its thousands. That because they're all real things, and in terms of their appealing to the masculine, appealing to all these men who are they're, for most of their life told that most of their inalienable characteristics are inherently evil and wrong if that's all they're told then finally they're given a way to defend women to be the men that they always wanted to be they always should be because we're demonizing the 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 beautiful and respectful and ancient balance of a man having anger and having violent needs but controlling them and managing them and being stoic and the things that we, that used to be held up as wonderful, you know, like the, um, but no, 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 no. It's toxic masculinity on both sides, on both sides. Uh, anyway, let's keep listening to this because I'm sure they'll, they'll get me somewhere that isn't just a hand holdy fucking mess of a thing. Which essentially are going to put them at harm and potentially put others at harm as well. So ideology can some, so sometimes described as the glue of groups or causes that kind of is the commonality that brings people together. It's right. usually about ideas about how a society or community should be or live their lives. So many ideologies are actually peaceful and non-violent, you know, and so th there's nothing for us to be concerned about there. It's quite normal. The ideologies that we're really concerned about is those that don't see a place for others. A terrorist ideology dehumanises a person's humanity. So it, what it does, yes. it justifies for yourselves criminality. We've been working with a lot of young people from a lot of different backgrounds. Let him speak more. He seems to have a fucking head on his shoulders, doesn't he? Backgrounds down the years. And you know what we found is that very often take the ideology away and look at what it is that sits beneath it. There are huge similarities, whether it be a young person that's been drawn into a far right or a far left leaning group, or those that have been drawn towards groups that seek to distort the religion of Islam. In terms of what's actually you know, pushing and pulling people towards um, these groups, it can be everything from a traumatic incident, an event that may have taken place early on in their childhood, in their life. It can be something that's going on in terms of their family. Let's take some individuals who may feel um, very insignificant in the world, they may feel marginalised, they may feel invisible. That person is aggrieved, angry, frustrated, perhaps confused or lost, and looking for steadiness and purpose. The promise of an ideology can really make them feel like their lives can be so much more significant. A sense of belonging, a sense of meaning, a sense of purpose. Um, yes. And some people may have... Yes, because they have all that taken from them via the education system. That's... Stop taking that away from them. And then they won't need to fucking go there. And then you won't need to spy on them. We won't need to dob them in allow people meaning to begin with i mean and men by the way this is men allow men meaning because they're the ones blowing shit up they're the ones fighting in the streets um don't get me i'm not that isn't to say women are blameless in all this oh my god no have genuine grievance or feel that there's injustices um that they see these groups or causes as a way of um, expressing or, or dealing with and so, for very good reasons, people might start to listen to those who say, yes, you know, you're on the right track. You too can become part of something, become part of a bigger change and play a meaningful role with all of this. We see people who um, accept ideas kind of unquestioningly or they don't really question them or test them or they go along with them or they make decisions <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and end up in a place that they didn't really think about getting to. So the recruiter 
would exploit a person's lack of connection and make that even more, more of a disconnect. So for example, if you've got a student that seems to be associated with gangs, a lot of the time it's not to actually do the atrocities or the, the criminal violence associated with that gang, it's the sense of belonging that they're looking for. Yeah. It's all about being part of something and being part of something sometimes exciting. And for some people I think excitement itself is the main driver. Aside from things like belonging or identity or things that may be even deeper or making a political impact, even excitement alone for some individuals seems to be important. Yes, they're the ones, they're the ones that you need to keep an eye on. They're the ones, the ones that are completely out of it. I know people like this, I know people that are like so insanely like desperate for just just a little bit of a spine, a little bit of a backbone. And and they they just they they find it via these things completely completely. Um, I got respect for this. This is actually I mean finally finally what half an hour in it's actually finally getting to some crux of some decent stuff. I'm not sure. I'm maybe when I watch it back I'll find out why it ended up in the education stuff. I don't know. But still, it's probably the most I think important. For most people who are being radicalised, they don't see that as, as something bad that's happening to them. You know, they probably see that as, as, as almost a good thing because, you know, they've, they've got a friend, they've got um, a group that they can identify with, they are being given a cause, they are yes. being given something that they can fight for. So I guess given how important some of these groups, causes, ideas are to people's lives, their sense of identity, we can see how it's very difficult for some people to leave those things, to step aside, to go back to sometimes the lives that they had before. Oh, really? Really? Um, young people aren't very good, I don't think, at hiding things, especially things that might be worrying them, something exciting that's going on in their lives. And teachers are in an ideal position to actually pick up these changes and they may very rightly be concerned about them. Sometimes they might see <laughs> I just, changes in I, the way. I, I love, I love. Um, oh man, I can't remember the name of it now. But it's like it's it's a metal, it's a metal, it's a long metal rod, and it's got it's got like skateboard wheels on it. And you you put your little DSLR on it. And it's great now because cameras don't weigh anything, so this is dirt cheap to set up. You can you can just put it on one stick if you need to. And uh, whoever's made this video has obviously just bought one of them, and he's just coming. The whole time, it's like, dude, man, every shot doesn't have to track over in like that. In which they're presenting okay. themselves, so it could be the way that they're what? dressing. <laughs> Some students are, can be quite vocal. On the on the other side, you can have students that go within themselves and become quite quiet. They might see things written on textbooks, um, on work, symbols. It might even be in just the way that their, 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 their body language is and the way that they've started to behave towards other people. Yeah. So there's all sorts of different ways that these can manifest themselves um, and all, dif all different signs that teachers might pick up. Oh, thank God for that. Sweet. There was a couple of good points in there. It was worth it. We're shortly you. going to work on a story based on true... Right, no. no. We're shortly going to work oh, on a story based God. on true events of a student that was vulnerable to radicalisation. People right. sometimes consider mental health as a vulnerability to radicalisation. Yes. There is currently no firm evidence as to whether a person's existing mental health what? problems can exacerbate the radicalization process or whether exposure to radicalization can worsen someone's mental health. What? To watch a short video going into more detail on this, no. please click here. Or to no, jump straight to no, the case study no, exercise, no, 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 click no. here. Why is it whenever there's a fucking terrorist attack, um, if the person's got light enough skin, they go, well, mental health problems... And it's, it's, no, there's a, what? This is insane. I, I feel like they're trying to, pre there's no firm evidence as to whether a person's existing mental health problems can exacerbate the radicalization process. Well, why is it always brought up then? Every single time. I kind of feel like mental health is a factor. It must be. I kind of feel like they're trying to protect us here. They're trying to protect my feels. And this isn't a situation for feels to be protected, you know? Um, but like, let's give it a fair shake, though. Let's see what they say. 
We're now going to hear a story based on true events of a student who was vulnerable to radicalisation while the video plays. Oh my god, another fucking video. If I wanted to watch YouTube, I would have watched YouTube. Um, Listen to the circumstances. All right, yeah, you ready, guys? Each time you hear something, click the button on the screen to register your concern. <laughs> Let's become... Good at spying, shall we? Currently use examples from students in secondary school and college education. However, this is not to say that Prevent cannot find Wait. support for those vulnerable to radicalisation at a younger age. While the circumstances and level of risk can be slightly different in nursery or primary school environments, the advice and skills are very transferable from the case studies you will work on. If yeah. you'd like some yes. more detail on it... Give me the fucking... You have two choices stuff. to work with. One is where a female student has the potential to be drawn to Islamist terrorism. Right. The other follows a boy who is seemingly being drawn into the ideology of the far right. Please select which one might be most useful for you to work on. Well, don't worry if the profiles of those involved don't exactly match your institution. The learnings can be easily applied to other settings. Did I? I, I definitely... I thought I clicked... Oh... Whatever, whatever. Right, okay. Well, it's not going to be the girl, is it? The girl. Um, I'm not worried about the girl as much, really. To be honest, she's going over there. Whatever, whatever. Let's find out about this 15 year old lad. That's much bigger risk. If someone's going to kill lots of people, it's going to be him. Here we go. Look at that smug face. Bless him. Keep in mind the types of general vulnerabilities and changes in behaviour we looked at earlier. We'll use this case study to see whether similar factors are evident here. Each time you hear something in the video that might give you cause for concern about Callum's welfare, click the button on screen to register that. And we'll put these into context at the end of the video. OK. All right, right, let's have a quick look at them all before we get going. Becoming disrespectful, asking inappropriate questions. I really get worried about that as a... As a, as, a, as, a, as a thing that is so context relevant. What's inappropriate? Um, no, I don't like that at all. Um, only because it needs more... Ex that needs a conversation, Rav. But anyway, anyway, let's not worry about that. Absenteeism, of course. Becoming detached or withdrawn. Starting to stress. Isolation from friends. Scripted speech. That's the biggest one there. That's the first actual major red flag. Crying quick to enter. Unhealthy use of the internet. Well, yeah, by the very definition of unhealthy, it is worrying. But no, scripted speech. Oh, here we go. No one else spoke about mum having that affair. So why should I? She's the one who nearly wrecked our home. I swear it nearly killed Dad. I'd have thrown her out of the house, but he never spoke about it. Pathetic, really. Okay. <laughs> At least right. it meant I got away with shit exam results. My tutor said I was throwing my life away if I didn't do better. Well, I know there's more than one way to get on in life. Tony says I'm a leader. He says I'll do all right. I've got the right attitude, you know. <laughs> if my dad stopped coming to matches, I'd, I'd still go. Sometimes with my mate Stu and his dad, but sometimes just with Stu. And that's when I met Tony and the rest in the stands. Brilliant game. A hat trick to steal the deal. They took me to the pub. Bought me two pints. What a day. Loved Ooh. it. Concern. I started to walk with Tony, Bev and the others to games. And they'd get me in the George after. One day there was a fight. Someone threw a glass at Tony and I used my bag to deflect it. Instinct, really, but he said I was his hero. Good luck. I mean, I was scared, but Tony said I stood up like a man. I got properly <laughs> drunk that night. Oh, his dad's not Texted happy, Dad, just said I was staying at Stu's. What did he care? That week, Tony invited me to a meeting in the upstairs room at the George. Began to tell me how he owed me for stepping in like I did. He told me I could handle the truth. He said our great country was being sold down the river. Look yeah. around. When we walk down Western Road, we see them all. They don't drink. They don't add anything. It's all arranged marriages. And yeah. our money to build mosques or changing the law to suit them is bullshit. Okay. We need to have I'm a not being racist. About that. My mate Dev is a Sikh. They're all right. They mix. They, they get it. Tony said it was our choice who lived in the town, who we got on with in the town. He said I could make a difference, and, and I want to. I told some mates at school, they didn't say, but I know they thought it was pretty sick that I was part of this. I thought Tony would be pleased. 
He went a bit mental. Said he'd tell me who to tell about it and how. That's... The young patriots. I've got Tony got me a lot there, of stuff to post bullshit. up. I was like a that's regional fucking... leader on the page. No, 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 no. That's not. No, come on. You're getting into fucking action movie territory now. Come on, guys. That's not how it. Ha oh, it, oh, no, no. Jesus. This. He'll tell me who to tell. Don't give me that nonsense. People, they're, they're proud. There's, no, no, nobody talks like that. Fuck off. You were doing so well. We put up when Muslims were being given things over English guys or when they plotted to attack us, when their law was getting passed by the council. I was asked to get more people liking the page. I, I've never been great with writing and that, so I did it my way, told people to sign up. They could not. I'm bigger than a lot of them. I draw a symbol on my stuff or other people's stuff, then it was mine. People knew it meant something, that they should respect it. Tony was pretty stressed. He talked about a march that summer, that he would be in the news. It was getting pretty serious, but he always had a smile for me. He said he trusted me, that he'd always look out for me. And that was more than I was getting anywhere else. Jesus Christ. Well, for a start, someone needs Callum's to talk behaviours. To fucking dad. Below are the concerning behaviours that you registered while watching the case study, and the context for that concern can be seen by clicking on any one of them. Oh, At any point, you can click to continue. Um, no, no, I've had enough of that. Come on, don't give me that fucking bullshit. Callum's circumstances. Right. It's important we understand what drives behavioural change that causes us concern. In this case, the following circumstances have isolated Callum, which puts him at risk. It says Farah. Click on any of the below for some more context, or click to continue oh, at any time. God. Guys, just guys, there's no one tested this shit. I mean, this is so embarrassing. I mean, oh, I, Jesus Christ, man. Like... I mean, it's, it's drugs and alcohol was the main thing I could see there. Everything else was just a, 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 an oddly scripted fucking nonsense. This exercise hopefully illustrated that the behaviours we might expect from a person being radicalised are not as unpredictable or unrecognisable as we might have imagined. It's therefore possible that you would notice the signs of radicalisation as part of your day-to-day -day job. But this is a complex and sensitive issue, and in any scenario, the circumstances and vulnerabilities will be as unique as the person at the heart of it. Of the behaviours that may cause concern, some may be quite blatant, especially when these are verbal, like a change in language, obsession on a topic, being closed to debate, right through to actually declaring intent to commit violence. Open free speech is to be encouraged. Yes. People in danger of being radicalised should feel they can question and debate what they're being presented with. That's why, time and again, we hear of people vocalising their new ideas with people they admire or respect. And this often includes authority figures like teachers, oh doctors God, and social shut workers. Shut up, shut up. This exercise hopefully I've... illustrated that the behaviours we how might many expect times... from... Right, how many times do I have to turn the fucking audio off? It's off, you idiots. Um, I, God, I half expect some kids to get fucking radicalised just doing this. Um, it is therefore likely that you will notice many signs of radicalisation. Yeah, well, if someone comes to me like some sort of Bond-style fucking... Villain's Apprentice, then yeah, I'm sure I recognise it from this nonsense. This is the same thing, but it's going behind it again. Oh my god. Um, I mean, I think fixed on a subject. Fixed on a subject is huge. Huge. Uh, there's no continue button. This, this, I don't feel like I've defeated terrorism yet. I'm going to be honest. Uh, that's why time and again we hear people vocalising their new ideas with people they admire or respect. And this often includes authority figures like teachers, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, it's often the same professionals who are placed to first speak to the individual if a concern has been raised in order to better understand the situation, any risk posed. <gasps> oh my god. I'm not interested. Whoever the concern originates from, the response needs to be proportionate. Oh. Uh, draw on your knowledge. Discuss some of your concerns. Above all, be sensitive. Uh, you know that seeing a noticeable increase in someone's interest in religion or politics <laughs> is not something to be concerned about. Uh, on the contrary, it most likely represents a positive change in behaviour. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. It's, you know, it's good that you've got that balance there, though. It's only if they are coupled with the other behaviours. Yeah, like somebody abusing... I mean, this is... What's going on with that dad? That's what I'm... That's my concern there. I love that the words proportionate response are next to that face. That's amazing. Prevents, uh, re prevents response for support are proportionate and rely on the right people being involved in steering people away from radicalization if that's what's required proportional response so okay uh oh another fucking video oh my god guys to help us understand what that support looks like we're going to continue Callum's story this time picking up from the point when his teacher noticed behaviors that caused concern listen carefully to how these concerns were handled and by whom as this will form the basis of the final exercise well, let's turn this on intimidating might be another way to put it never to staff but you could see some of his peers making an effort to keep out of his way then a student told me in confidence that Callum had been promoting a website for a group called the Young Patriots. She said she'd seen the page and it contained a lot of hateful language. <laughs> but it upset her. All right. Cool. So I sat with her and we took a look together and mm. I didn't like what I saw. No. I spoke to Alan, our head, also our designated safeguarding lead, and we immediately called Callum in to speak to him together. We asked him where this had come from, and he was quick to point out that he wasn't racist. That it was just a fact that he wouldn't get the job he wanted when he left school because it would go to refugees first. I asked him what that meant, and a confused answer came back about how the town was divided up. How there were no-go areas if you didn't want to get hurt. Callum loves his football. It wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why? Why is her face like, oh, like, oh, this is, you can't, conf... no, let's give it a chance. There are no-go areas though. There are no-go areas. There are, there are no-go areas due to Muslim extremism. There are no-go areas in this city because of white gangs. There are no-go areas. You need to, you need to just... You, 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 that in its that knowledge in itself isn't isn't concerning. You need to attack that head on, and stand up to it and go. Yes, there are, there are. Yes, um, rolling your eyes, as if as if that information is racist. Like that information in itself isn't racist, but what you then do with it might be. It became clear that's where he'd met people who encouraged him to get involved in the website. He loved the attention. On the website, and also at the matches, there was a social aspect he relished without his mum or dad there. And he told us openly and excitedly about being invited to secret group meetings in pubs before and after the game. When the head said he'd have to report what was going on, Callum changed. A little boy again, terrified about having said too much. We spoke to Callum's family, a nice couple who used to be quite involved in the school. <laughs> Hell no. They confirmed that they'd seen less and less of Callum <laughs> and that he had distanced himself. That dad is a sex offender and a half. Look at that man. He is what, what some would describe as a cook. Look at him, bless him. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's the problem. He's the problem. 
It's all there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And them and his friends. Look at him. At our suggestion, they helped convince Callum to talk to our school's counsellor. Oh. From the first session, it was apparently evident that Callum didn't understand what he was promoting or the ideology of the group he'd linked himself to. Yeah. What he said, how he said it, felt scripted, ill-informed. If Callum claimed to care so much about his community, it was important he understood about it. So work began with both the councillor and my department in contextualising the history of the city, its population, its industry, and importance to key events such as World War II, and significantly, who fought for Britain in that war. He doesn't care who fought for Britain. Anyone with any slight modicum of common sense knows that it was a, that World War II was a multicultural affair. But you can't throw that at him because he doesn't give a shit. Because people are telling him Muslims are raping your girlfriends. Muslims are raping your friends. That's what they're telling him. Telling him about World War What Here's the thing, here's the thing. That, that you can't complain about him being scripted and i'm sure he is being i'm sure his responses are very scripted but you can't complain about that with a scripted response and 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 here's the issue here's the issue it's that tick box thing isn't it it's like the 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 way uh, what's that american the american medical journal thing that's super super uh, politicized they're on like the fourth edition now and it's tick boxes it's tick boxes and the problem with tick boxes is in terms of like demonstrating which is a lot of what we've done here it's tick boxes isn't critical thought it isn't any kind of analytical thought um and that idiot counselor i i doubt very much has got the slightest clue about how to really get through sure she's probably very good at making pe people feel comfortable she's probably very good at passing information on to the relevant authorities because that's what they tell you to do but the problem is the next person on the line is just another tick boxer it's just another tick boxer and 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 that's what a lot of services have become now that's the issue that's a huge issue because for many many reasons because those people don't cause a fuss for a start they don't rock the boat. They have a tidy desk. They have a tidy uh, work relationship. Everyone thinks the same. We all hire people that think the same. Um, and that's a huge issue. That's a huge issue. Um, but it's not just that. The people who think critically cost more. They've been there longer. They understand it more. And no, if you're going to cut services, you're going to cut funding, then you get pricks straight out of uni that don't know shit about how the world actually works um because they're still obsessed with marxism and all that other nonsense and they've not they've not actually existed out in the world long enough to know how things really work callum began to open up about his personal concerns how scared he was of finding employment when he left school how terrified he was of leaving his family it was explained to callum that he was in control of his future that it was time Good. to stop blaming others for his perceived shortcomings so alongside this our careers manager worked with Callum to help him look at his options. <laughs> Has he got... <coughs> Sorry, I'm on a bit of a run at the moment because there's just this hammering on about diversity and representation and it's been made, mentioned in this video and it's like, why... <laughs> if, if Callum is... Uh, he's into his football, his gangs, his drinking, all that stuff, right? His gangs. Why is he being exposed to loads of middle class women? What the fuck do they know about him? Honestly, other than just making him feel... Do you know what he's going to do in that situation? And I know because I've been sat where the middle class woman sat plenty of times he's gonna talk out of his fucking ass he's gonna let them he's gonna he's gonna let them hear what they need to hear and then he's gonna fuck right off out of there and he's gonna just it, it, none of it is gonna impact none of it none of it look at him look at these people they're just wheeling on for him i know they're just actors right but actually i've worked in the sector and i know this isn't far off it really isn't that far off the reality of the situation um he, he needs people like tom 
that were there before. He needs people like that who've got the shit together. Or he needs people who can actually think critically. That can talk to him in like in terms that he's actually going to understand. Not tell him about World War Two and who fought in it. Jesus. The fuck is he going to do with that information? You keep hammering on about him being worried about work. Then you know what you need to tell him? You need to tell him to step the fuck up and get his life together. You don't apologise for him. You don't contextualise shit for him. You tell him to grow up and be a man. Because that's what the extremists are telling him to do. And, and, and that's what he needs to hear. Even if it hurts. The amount of people like this that I used to support that are just had strings of these assholes, one after the other, and all they did is apologise to them. In a roundabout way, they apologised to them for their circumstances, for their parents, for their childhood, for their environment. They just apologised and apologised, and it just turned them into an even more entitled victim. It sent them further down that path. Only by the time they go down that path, they're out of the school and they're out of the service and it's not their problem anymore. They don't have to think about it. It's just like, well, you know, uh, Donald Trump and all that. Oh, there we go. Fair enough. That's fair enough, that's fair enough. I respect that. But there are, there are no go zones! No, no, no. No, 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 no. You're just delaying it. You're just delaying it. It's great that he had family and friends around him and all the rest of it, but he needs to stand on his own. He needs to be his own person. He needs to be able to feel like he's his own island, man. You can't just deny that those things exist. And for God's sake, if you're coming back to him saying things, the problem is that, yes, he was framing things incorrectly, but... Not everything he's saying will have been untrue. That's the problem. That's why Tommy Robinson's doing so well. Because a lot of the shit he's saying is true. That's the fucking issue. Um, But no, no, no. Good faith. Let's do this. He will. He will. You've not stopped anything. is again that mentality they get the support that they need no you need to make it so that he i mean i mean yeah it's there it's there but go on here we go tick boxes exactly what i said yeah pass it on Pass it on. Whatever you do, don't... Don't just be straight with him. Don't just be honest. Just send it on. Who is qualified, though? Who is qualified? I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Was it not the parents? Oh, for God's sake, it will be the headmaster then. Oh, God, I don't remember. It was the school counsellor, wasn't it? Oh! Right. The, 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 the father that should have fucking done something about it. No, no. I, I know enough about the safeguarding procedures to know that they are nonsense. We're nearly at the end. This is it. We've just been dancing around. Oh my god. This is this is it. This is their attitude. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Was he? <laughs> I love this. We've got this. Fuck all white people. Fuck all white men. That stuff's fine, though. Right. <laughs> Doing do you do as many art projects and as many like written projects? That's absolutely fine, though, isn't it, mate? Go on, I'm sure that's wonderful. Okay. Well, what's wrong with that? That's good. That's. Right. This is bullshit. It's all videos. Wait, are you on stream or level one and two? I don't know what I'm doing. It's going on about school kids constantly. Yeah, because school kids are players. This is fucking bullshit. Wait, what's that? I don't know. It's whatever it is. That's not it. I just don't even know. <laughs> This is awful. That's not the one I did, Dave. No, there's no questions. No, that's not the one I did. Oh no, no, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm more interested now. So, so, if, will you get? If there's a beer, will you get me a beer? If not, will you get me a, just like a glass of juice, isn't it? Will you get me a glass of juice? Yeah. All this is doing is saying follow your self guarding procedure. There's no fucking. Okay. No. Let's just press continue. Fuck this. Fuck this. 
Yeah, maybe. Because the cover file scrubs. Yeah, let's give them some feedback. Oh my god, I've been, I'm still recording now. I'm still recording, we're on like an hour and four minutes. And I didn't really learn anything. It took 20 minutes just to get to beyond the beyond the bullshit, beyond the, you know, the actual sp meat of it. And even then it was just so loose and so floppy. And so it was like an introduction to, and I'm like, this is, this is the thing that comes up on the fucking government's website. When you go on like prevent, you know, the actual prevent strategy, this is their main thing. And it started with a load of trick questions to send me down a certain way. And I'm like, no, 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 just teach me about it. Like, oh, oh. You mustn't, you just, the public just mustn't have access to the... I phone. said, well, I don't know, I don't know. Here we go. Where we, uh... Wait, I need to, let me do this questionnaire anyway. Um, uh, I'm still recording, so you're on the film, you're on the video now. Alright, well, hi. Um... <laughs> To conclude the session, you'll need to answer these three questions and establish your understanding of this topic. I mean, really, I had a look through the prevent strategy. I went through a lot of this before I started this, and this training is a fucking joke compared to what I was reading there. But let's do this. Which of these three statements best describe prevent? Public information gathering to help identify terrorists and pursue... Their arrests, the self guidance strategy to prevent people from supporting terrorism or becoming involved with terrorism before any terror. Uh, a mean to align certain mental health issues with criminal capability. What? Uh, I'd say it's B. Okay, okay, okay. Cause to violent action. Um, a fixed on a subject, new language, close to discussion. Correct, yeah. Um, oh, God. Well, I don't know. I don't know what your answer to this is. Oh, there's no profile. No. Yes. I would I would rate my understanding of radicalization good. Actually, thank you very much. And I don't think it's been improved in the slightest by this fucking lukewarm nonsense how would you understand and prevent fitting to no very poor nothing nothing fuck all it's just it's one of them where it creates more issues if you're gonna if you're gonna poorly train someone on something then it's gonna tr it's gonna create more problems it's not a fucking it's not helping you're just giving them a couple more boxes to tick to pass on to the relevant people. The relevant people haven't got a fucking clue what they do. Oh. Uh, oh acceptable. Regards. Uh, you would check a concern with. Yes, lots of people. With regards to the risk of radicalization, can you identify the person you would share a concern with? Yes, of course. Do you require further training how to refer vulnerable people considered? And refer to who? Who who the fuck am I referring them to? Because so far, I've not been given a huge amount of things. There was a dude with a beard at one point. He seemed to know what he was on about. But no, you can't even get your fucking website to work. No, not really. How far? Not very useful. I'm sorry. It, it felt like a huge fucking waste of my time. Um, the mute button button doesn't work. Work and the training. 
Oh, you can see how bad my typing is. I go too fast. It self lacked any real meat or knowledge. Um, I, I mean, it just, 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 it, 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 it's very frustrating. Very frustrating. Like, very frustrating. What, what was that? No. Oh, right. It's process the certificate. It's going to ask for all my details, isn't it? My name is Graham Booth. Booth. Oh, you're all right for me now. Um, trigger warning. There we go. I've got a fucking certificate now because that's changed everything hasn't it that's changed absolutely everything Jesus fucking Christ is that it is that really it this is what they're doing a buggy ass website doesn't even fucking work and that's it Jesus Christ You, you know what I was hoping to I was hoping to roast it a bit more than I was I wasn't expecting it to be so pathetic I mean I'm just I'm just astonished if for some reason you've managed to make it this far well done well done have a good night because I am done uh, I'll see you on Tuesdays for the podcast I'll see you on Thursdays for the telly show I'll see you in a bit guys have a good night like comment subscribe share all that stuff please let me know in the comments as well i'd love to hear your thoughts on any of that i really really would and if you've got links or knowledge of any training that has got any kind of real substance to it and isn't some just basically tell your boss bullshit then please please let me know i'll see you in a bit guys fucking hell